YouTube, y'all see this box? Like, it's crazy, yo. Dropping the princess off to work. One thing I can say is that for some reason everyone's late in the morning and they got somewhere to go because people were flying, like flying past us. Like we're doing like 40 something, they're doing 60. I don't know what yo look at the look at New Mexico though. Look at this view. So we're rancho pretty much have nothing out here, right? And then like it's just beautiful. Background story. So all the OGs out there, K fam, everybody's been watching my vids for a minute. You know that I had an A three hundred, and I pretty much slap a graphics card in it, turned into a gaming computer. It was like an old desktop computer. And put an SSD in it. You know, just make it a little bit more modern to play modern video games. So when I build the new computer that I have, the Gamdius build, I want to do a giveaway on that computer so I can go to someone that wants to get a gaming computer you know or use it for whatever so i did a giveaway and everyone that was watching live stream you guys know adam won i linked up with adam got the address let me know what's going on blah blah mind you all the parts on that computer i paid for um whoever won it i paid for shipping i paid for everything so whoever win this computer is not they're not coming out of pocket you know like i'm, I'm doing everything right so once Adam won, um, I had a computer for a while because I was trying to get the whole logistics and everything. And I was putting some money to the side just to ship it out and stuff like that too, you know. I'm the type of person where I don't just jump into things, you know. Like I like to make sure everything is Gucci, especially financially. Make sure everything is Gucci and once I'm set, okay. It's a free computer anyway, you know. Why would you complain if the computer takes a while to come or not? It's a free computer, you know. And it's a free gaming computer with a nice graphics card. So I packed the computer. I made a whole video on this stuff. You guys saw I packed the computer. I put it in bubble wrap. You know, I packed it tightly and make sure everything was Gucci, whatever. So I went to UPS and I gave them the box. And they said, oh, they'll take care of it. They sent it out. A ah. few days later, Adam got back to me. He was like, hey, the computer is damaged. You know, ah, ah. I'm like, okay, maybe the desktop, some of the plastic ripped off or, you know, like something broke on the outside or whatever. It was, it was like packaged A1. So I'm like, okay. So Adam sent me pictures of how he got the computer. And like one of the slots on the motherboard where the graphics card goes into, that thing was ripped out. So I'm just like, how could that happen? Like, you know, like what what were UPS doing with this box that that happened? So I'm like, hmm, okay. So Adam made a claim for it being damaged, and then I guess UPS was like, you know, they were, they they're gonna ins they took it back from him. They're gonna inspect it. Uh, ah, because Adam lives in I think Virginia, I think. I don't remember. I think this is in Virginia, and he was telling me how the UPS service out there, like, by him is, they're not well known for taking care of packages or whatever. So I'm like, okay. I got a call from UPS, and they're like, yo, we have a package for you. So when I returned it, and I'm like, I remember Adam telling me that UPS picked, or the post office, or whoever delivered to him, it got to be UPS. They picked it up, and they said they were going to inspect it. So I wasn't inspecting the computer. I thought it was something else, but I'm like, I ain't sending nothing else. So I'm like, okay. So I got to UPS and then they were like, yeah, this package right here got sent back. Boy, so it was the computer, right? Bros, I wish I was exaggerating in the title. They showed me the box of the, the A300 the, and, and I wish I took pictures. I should have took pictures of the box. I'm gonna go to UPS today to see what's going on because I still haven't had an update yet. But the box was destroyed. Like, you know what it looked like? It looked like I dropped them off the box. They brought it to the warehouse. They left the A300 in the middle of the warehouse in the box took probably 10 UPS trucks, ran it over back and forth, maybe got like a forklift, ran over, dropped the forklift on top of the box. Someone did a swanton bomb off the top of the warehouse onto the box, and another worker probably picked up the box, stunned the box, then someone pedigreed the box. After that, they told Clifford the Big Red Dog to roll over on the box. Then they called up somebody from Call of Duty and freaking nuked the box. Like, bro, like, I wish I was exaggerating. The box was destroyed. I couldn't believe this is what I gave UPS. Like I could not, I couldn't believe it. Like the box was destroyed. So I'm like, and this is like, this is like, this is before the whole shutdown and all that stuff too. So this is why I'm going to UPS today to see what the heck is going on. And I'm gonna drop off Sebastian's um, fender roller first. No, I'm gonna go UPS first, then I'm gonna drop off Sebastian's fender roller. 
but the box was destroyed. Like, it really looked like freaking Falcon threw the box up in the air, charged up his Falcon punch, and just knocked it to Narnia. Like, it, 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 bros, I could not believe it. Like, I really couldn't believe it. So, they told me, um, the manager at the UPS store, like, oh, yeah, he's gonna take a look at it. You know, here's his car. Uh, um, and I tried to reach out. I haven't heard nothing yet. So I'm, and I don't know if they should be open. I know New Mexico is locked down, but um, I think they're essential, so they should be open. So I'm going to drive by, see what's up, see what's going on, because I I don't know. Like, I, and, then I, and then I took out insurance. I let them know it's a fragile, uh, um, it's a fragile package. The computer is in there and stuff like that. They know all of that. So if they know all of that, see out in the box, why are they... Why are they playing FIFA with the box? Like, I, I, like what happened to it? Did it fell out the UPS truck while I was driving and they put it back in? Like, and it got ran over by like 10 cars? Like, like let's go to UPS. All right, I'm here, but the UPS store. Let's see what's up. I got my receipt and everything ready to go. I'm gonna get a cute dog. All right, I'm back from the UPS store and I took a picture of it. They destroyed this box. So pretty much it's marked as total you know they were like hey we can give you the box or we can keep it here i'm like well you guys keep it make sure this claim goes through i get my money back then i'll probably come back and pick it up but right now i'm like nah you guys need to figure that out the manager says gonna look at it he's gonna give me a call that's what they told me before so i'm gonna give him a day or two and then i'll give him a call back like yo what's going on uh that, that's crazy all right guys me from the future i actually forgot to guys to show you the box so this picture you're looking at right now this is when I was in the UPS store, and I, I told the guy, like, hey, I had a package sent back here. They told me they're going to look into it and get a call back. So he's like, oh, he's like, oh, okay, no problem. Go get it. He brings the box, and he drops this. And I'm looking at it like, that's my box. You know, I was like, like yeah, because I remember I saw it in the beginning, but I was just so, I was in the moment overwhelmed. I wasn't really peeping. I was just, I, I didn't know the box was destroyed, but I'm looking at it. Boy, what the what's going on here? Like, look look how I heavily I heavily taped this box because I knew that you know it may get tossed around, but this got more than tossed around. They put this in the washing machine, you know, like they they dropped it. So this was in the plane, and they threw it out the plane, and it landed on a trampoline, and it went into a volcano. So like 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 what? And then he was mad nonchalant, like yeah, you know, this is a box. Uh, I'm like, bro, are we looking at the same box? <laughs> like, like, are you serious? Like, look at this, guys. I'm not over. I'm not over exaggerating. If you would have shipped something, no matter what it is, out and it got returned like this, you will lose your scalati. So I'm telling you, like, this is crazy. Like, look at the box. Look at the. Yo, it's this is so crazy that it's funny. Like, this is like comedy because this can't be real. Like, look how they sent Adam in the box. Like, all right, so if you worked at the, if you work in UPS, right, and I don't know, you put in the boxes in the belt, or maybe they didn't T stack, right? Because I used to work for FedEx, so I know how to pack. You got to T stack to the brim. When you T stack, this don't, this won't happen. Because when you T stack, everything is like Gucci, it's like a pyramid. So you stacking your box, and you realize, oh, they probably put a, a heavy behind box on top of it, and it's crushed. So when they put it on there, it crushed, right? Report it or something, you know, don't let the thing fly, like, yo. They violated me, so look at this. I can't believe this. Look at this box. Y'all see this box? YouTube. Y'all see this box? Like, it's crazy, yo. Let's continue with the vlog. I, I can't even look at this thing no more. What I'm gonna do is I'm about to be on my way to the other side of town, drop the roller off, head to Sebastian's shop, and go from there. All right, we made it to Sebastian's shop. We are working on some cool cars in there. But um, I ain't bother recording because I was kind of just like, you know, taking it in. It's like they had like a turbo must LS Mustang in there and stuff like that. And then Sebastian's working on a square body that they restore like a barn fire. That's pretty cool. I want to have a car that can build up like this car, you know? Like when I get some money, I want to build this thing up and make it cooler, make it faster. And they still have like another another cool JDM car as a daily. But yeah, super cool. So I'm going I'm to get out of here at home. And that's probably gonna be it for the vlog, unless I do something else after this. I don't know. Why do Call of Duty play so much, son? Why do they play so much? Well, I just downloaded this game like two days ago. Why is there an update already? What's going on here, boy? 
Yo, yo, you you supposed to go down. Yeah, go down. Why are you going up? What was that? Y'all saw that? I think it was going up. Man, hell yeah. You better go down from 17. You better go down from... Se Boy, why are you going up? What do you do? Somebody please explain to me. Why is there an update already? On my external hard drive video, this is exactly why that video got 100 some thousand views because of the last Call of Duty updated every two minutes, boy. Like, And if you're not someone that leaves your PS4 plugged in on rest mode, you're gonna wake up to this all the time. Like, I don't leave nothing plugged in. You know, I got my own house. You know, we try to save money and energy. When we leave the crib, we leave nothing plugged in. When we're done, nothing is plugged in. I can't front my electric bill, but like, it'd be dumb cheap. Like $50 something like that. I think it's because we do that. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's because we do that, but. Oh, wait, look where it's at now. My son said 50 minutes. All right, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take this L. We're gonna go to rest mode. I want to play some Call of Duty, but Call of Duty wanna act like a, hmm. Today's Friday, November 20th. Why is everything trying to update right now, son? So I was about to play some uh, Grand Theft Auto recording another episode for you guys. Boy, what is, what, wait, what? 20, 50 gigs? What the hell is going on here? I'm about to go pick up Shelly before I blow my Scalati right now. So I don't know what, yo, I can't play no games today. This is crazy. Literally this whole day, nothing's going right. I don't, I don't know what's good. I don't know what type of energy is in the world right now. I mean, there's always a rainbow after the storm. And this first world problem, you know, this is like, well, the whole UPS thing, that's still blowing minds. But the whole update thing, I mean, games can update or whatever. But it's just weird that everything got to update right now. I don't get it. Me and Shelly got some Taco Bell. I feel like whenever I'm talking about food on this channel, I'm always recording either we eating super healthy or bad eats. Taco Bell is bad eats. They got that double chalupa box or something like that. And we ordered it online. When we got there, they didn't have any more. So the dude was mad cool. He was like, you know, I love the car. And then he was like, you know, we ran out of uh, double chalupa, but I'll hook you up. He gave me a cheesy tortilla and a regular chalupa instead. I guess everyone, I guess people down here love that cheesy, uh, what is it? Cheesy, not double, cheesy tortilla. No, what am I talking about? Cheesy Chalupa, I think that's what it's called. And they ran out, like they sold way more than they thought they would have had. So they waiting for another truck. So they hooked it up, so that's what's up. I'm gonna try again with, I think Call of Duty definitely should be done. I'm a, so I may stream some Call of Duty right now on Kimogini Gaming. Like I said, by the time you guys see this video, I already streamed it, if I did. And uh, I'm trying to fix GTA because I'm trying to, do another episode for the mods and I guess one of the mods is not working and so I have like three copies of GTA on my computer. One is a clean copy, one is a mod copy, one is a second mod copy and the mod copies are just not booting up. So I'm gonna do some investigation and figure out why GTA is not working. Today was just one of those days where things just don't wanna go right, but it's not really a big deal because they're not like huge problems. There's people in this world are going through way worse things. You know, whenever I, I get to the point where I feel like, oh my God, why is this happening? I always humble myself and tell myself that there's someone else in this world that they're going through way worse than you. You know, like I'm just grateful I'm able to breathe, I'm able to walk, I'm able to talk. I can hold this camera and talk to you guys. You know, I can play video games on the PC. You know, I have a house, you know, like, like you're gonna have those days where you feel like the world's against you, but you gotta be grateful for what you got because someone out there don't got it. They wish they had it, you know? So I'm always grateful. People always say, you know, I always have a positive attitude and stuff like that. And because of that, because I, I think about people in the world that, you know, they, we like things that we take for granted, someone dead, dead want that, you know? Like that's, they wish they can have that, you know? So I'm grateful, I'm blessed, I feel good. You know, anybody's watching this right now, look at everything you have right now. Look at the phone you're watching this on or the computer you're watching this on or the TV you're watching this video on. Just be grateful you got that TV. Be grateful on everything you have because technology allows us to figure about the things that's really important and things that you can't buy, you know? So that's my message for today. Um, hopefully we get this whole UPS thing situated and I still can't believe they I still can't believe they had a Royal Rumble in my box. Like you, you saw the pic, you guys saw the picture. Like that's, I've shipped things out all the time and I've never had an experience like that before. Like I, I really don't understand what happened. And the real kicker, here's the real crazy part. The UPS store don't know what happened. And then the, the UPS store over there by, on the Adam's side don't know what happened. Like they, like the, the store in Virginia, they didn't put no notes, no nothing. So when my store went to look up, you know what they said when they received the package, they put nothing, like nothing happened. So I'm just, next vlog I'm gonna do is I want to do a complete 
clean session on the car. Like I want to take the seats off my SI. I want to clean every single thing that I can. And I, it's going to be, I guarantee you it's going to be gross. Cause you guys seen like the sides, like under seats that I couldn't clean when I tried to clean the car in the past videos. This time we're going to do a breakdown, like clean everything that I can, you know? So also before I go, shout out to everyone that was like, Hey, you know, don't worry about it. Things will get better. You can do this. You can do this to make money. You can do this. When I made the video saying I had bad news that, you know, I'm not going to be working. Of course that's bad news, but I'm not looking at, it, I'm not looking at it as the world is over or whatever. One thing about me, I'm going to make things work regardless. Like no matter what situation I end up, I, I'm a I make it work. Like, I make it happen. Like, I, I, I can't, when bad things happen, I can't sit around and just mope around about the bad thing. Like, I got I to gotta make a comeback. So, like, like I'm going to be Gucci regardless. If I would have lost all of the stuff today, I guarantee you I'm going to make it back. Like, uh, like I'm going to figure a way out. That's, that's just my mindset. Guys, if you have something you want to get, go get it. That's all I got to say. And don't let nothing get in your way. If you lose something, get it back. If you lose something, get something else. Like, don't stop. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure I hope I see some of you guys in the stream. I'll see you guys in the next vlog.